want for hot cobweb action. Boo. -ah. Hey, if you are new to the channel, they paint monsters for a living. <laughs> Boo. -ah. That is right. That is right. And today, we are at the haunt doing hot cobweb action. So I'm gonna do a little instructions, show you some techniques, and then we're gonna be putting in a bunch of pictures of finished product, and hopefully, we will be able to put it in with uh, the show lady. So I'm gonna show you how it, how it all came to be. Okay, so hey, thanks for coming on board. Please subscribe, like, throw me a comment, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy. Yep, we got this going on. Uh, the owner thought it'd be very cool if like people going through could feel it touching their face because this slow lighting. So we're building this up. Had this pile of chairs here and some corpse bodies. And I liked the fact that I was able to take it from there, attach it all the way up to the chandelier, up to the body bags, and even up onto the ceiling. This one took some time, but the overall look is fantastic. What you do is you just want to start building it up. And as you get strands that come down, I wanted to attach all the stuff on the table, bring it up, got it all up in the mirror, and then build it up, up to the ceiling. And again, we're using the glue sticks from Menards. I tried using these last night, and they were horrible. What they do is they pill up and clog the gun, which is not a good thing. So this with especially the lady is going to look amazing. So hopefully I'll get some good pictures of that later on. All right, what we're doing is we're building up from here down to here. And I've let the gun sit for about five minutes. I'm gonna angle it. I just wanna keep on building that up. And then if you shake, you start really getting some girth to it. Um, this is time consuming, people. So um, if your gun starts squawking on you or you hear that whine, it means the air is starting to cool the tip and you're gonna have issues. So you just shut it down, let it heat up again, and then keep on going. So again, this takes some time, but we're gonna sit there and just keep on building up this bad boy. Always have a glue stick ready to go. Nice thing too is come along and angle it across that picture right there. And now we got it hanging. Some different angles. The way you really build it up is you sit there and come in one side and then come in at another angle. And you're also able to attach it by uh, shooting another line across. It will grab one section and so they'll take it to another. So now we've made almost like a, a nest. And uh, again, in the show lighting, it's gonna look amazing, people. So coming in on this side, let's see what we created. So we got these guys, these are attached pieces up here. But then you got this nice nesting comes across that picture, comes and attached to these guys. And so you just basically built something that uh, is, is gonna look amazing in the, in the show lighting. Um, it does take some abuse. You're always gonna have that client, you know, it's gonna come through and attack it. But, uh, you know, it's easily redone. 
you know, so if something happens to it, you're able to come in on the weekdays and attack it before uh, the next time you're open. But uh, also, I like this stuff where it builds itself up thick. And then look at that. I mean, she's with the customers walking through um, and air and everything going on, this will flutter. That'll look really cool. So, uh, yeah. Things are going on. So this portion is a little kind of dark, but uh, we have all these pictures. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cover gun, we're gonna angle it parallel to the wall, so it just shoots across the pictures. And then this is the next room. So we have all these catch points. We got the cup and the vase, all these flowers, and then they did attempt to do a little bit of it. But see, that, that ain't cutting it, all right? Because of the low light, you wanna make sure people see the age and the and the overall grossness of the room and this 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 ain't doing it so we are going to attack that so let's get that boy going All right, people, day two. I wasn't able to finish things up yesterday because uh, they wanted to do a walkthrough check, killed all the lights, and uh, kicked me to the curb, you know? So, but I'm back now. It's noon. I have roughly six hours to do some more stuff. So we're gonna do some more in the, in the mansion and then go back to the swamp. So let's continue for it. And oh, I want to also tell you, I'm throwing in some pictures of some of the finished product of the cave area, Q line, um, things I was not able to show you in past videos. So those will be in. So hey, stay to the end so you can see a lot of the finished product. Thanks for watching, people. Take care. Okay, the next section we are going to attack is the library. Now this is lit up really cool, all sorts of cool sound effects and stuff. But uh, you know, they've done some attempting to do so, but it really needs to look aged. So we're gonna come in here and conquer. Um, might be heading back to the swamp. I don't know, we'll see what time we have before they open tonight. So um, lots of ins and outs, lots of contact points to do some really cool um, kind of building up nests and all sorts of things. Do you think that there is actually spiders in here? So let's get this bad boy going.
So, we have gone through and made areas of interest. So we build them up here. And then into the next room, it goes across to a little buddy right there. Off the plant. And just little areas. I mean, we don't have to cover the whole thing. We're just going to make sure things look cool, especially when the show lighting goes on. Because some of this stuff is uh, somewhat reflective and it really looks cool. But, um, yeah, just gives that old and nasty. I mean, we have this one bird here taken care of. Yeah, I kind of left the other one a little bit, you know, kind of plain. But then, neat spider nest here. And just some overall build up there and here. Um... And then we have, you know, a big gush of it right here, going up across there, and then here, and then maybe just a little bit of this, where we just are making sure people see that. I, I like um, stuff like that, and the webbing that goes up and down like that from the shelf to the book. That's very cool. So, guys, I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of pictures. And, um, really appreciate you watching, and I hope you're subscribed. We're going to have more of these instructional videos coming. And, uh, like and share. And, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and uh, leave some comments. And also, I am using the cobweb gum from the old digital sound and lighting stand, staying young. Uh, it is 15 years old and it is still going strong. So if you guys ever want a gun like what I have that really pounds this stuff out and you can really do detail, uh, get a hold of me and uh, I can get you a touch of stand. Okay? Hey, you guys take care.